let's start with the middle piece. Stitch the longest strip as shown next. Next attach the two eyebrows. So far so good, leave this middle piece on the side for now. Let's do the sides, uh, stitch all the details in place. After you finish the right side, do the left side as well before moving on. We can attach the sides to the middle piece next. First along the short stitching line here.
great. Now the other stitching line as I will show you next. Best to start the stitching from exactly this point. After you're done, there is a smaller stitching line at the front, right over here. After you finish this side, attach the other one in exactly the same way. Don't forget the small round details like I did here.
beautiful, it starts looking like a horse head. There are a couple of leather pieces that will be attached under the chin. First connect the slit from the larger piece as shown next. This is called a cross stitch and we will use it two more times for this mask. Take your time, have a look at the way I do it in case you're not familiar with it and uh, continue as shown. Next attach this chin piece to the longest strip as I do here. Use a simple saddle stitch. With the lower bit of the mask ready, attach it to the main part. Again I use the simple saddle stitch, two needles, very easy.
We're making great progress so far. It actually looks like a mask and it looks like a horse. But of course we want to make a unicorn so we have to make the horn now. Start stitching from the top again with the cross stitch. Make sure you tighten very well as you go down the stitching line. The base of the horn should match perfectly to the horse head. Go ahead and attach the horn with a simple saddle stitch.
can go all the way around and finish your stitching. From a horse to a unicorn. Very well done. Let's assemble the ears next. Attach the small details first. And I recommend buying a set of a quarter hole punchers to get those calves cut neatly like I have. Very, very useful tools. I used 7mm rapid rivets to attach these ears in place. The next piece that needs to be attached to the main head is the main. Start with another cross stitch to connect the sides of this piece.
Nice, the shape of this piece will now follow the curve of the head. Let's attach the mane to the top of it. Stitch these three pieces together first. Now attach them to the other piece on the remaining two stitching lines. After you finish the first line, go ahead and do the other one as well. Let's attach this last piece with our last stitching of this build. Make sure everything fits in place and go ahead and start with another saddle stitch. There are two ways to attach the six straps on each side of the mask. 
You can either place the strap on top of the bits sticking out of the mask or you can use a metal loop to attach them like I will show you next. Either way, up to you. Make sure your rectangular loops will be wide enough for the straps to pass through. Repeat the same process for the other five remaining straps. The last strap will get attached to the headpiece with four rivets. And that is the main piece of the mask done. All the seven straps connect at the back with this last piece we now need to put together. I use 20 mm buckles for this mask. If you want to use these exact buckles, I will leave a link in the video description so you can buy them. If you want to use your own buckles, make sure to adjust the width of all the straps according to your buckles for a perfect fit. Once again, I used 7mm reverts to attach these buckles.
Congratulations, you are done. If you want to download the pattern, there will be a link in the video description. Also, please subscribe and click the bell button to stay up to date with our next tutorials. Thank you very much for watching.